Hi, good morning. It's day 18. Um, left shelter. And it was like a half mile off trail, so I'm finally back on the Appalachian Trail. It's like 9 o'clock, so kind of a late start, but not super late. I think we're going like 13 miles today to... I forget what shelter it's called. But yeah, it's like 13 miles. I think I'm taking a break here in about like 5 or 6 miles to get water at like the Tri-Corner Knob Shelter though. But, last night started out as a great night. We got to the Pax Corner Shelter. It was like 5.30. And it was like just a couple people there all nice. We were just talking to them and stuff. A lot of people set up in their tents and then two girls in the shelter. And then me and Niall set up in the shelter. And then everyone else was in tents. And then this other, we were eating dinner and like this other guy showed up and he's kind of acting weird. And then I just moved my stuff up to the top level to get away from him because he kind of set his stuff up really close to mine. So I just moved my like mat up to the top and stuff. But then um, when we all like kind of went to bed, he like was like talking and then he kept accusing us of stealing his headlamp and then he was like, am I the only one in the shelter? And then he was just kind of freaking us all out. So then we like all tried to leave the shelter but there was nowhere to set up our tents. We were like wandering around carrying all our stuff in the dark. And we thought about going like the five miles to the next shelter but there was like a, the two girls there weren't going on the AT, they were going somewhere else and we didn't want to like leave them there alone with someone that was making us uncomfortable. So we all just set up our tents on this like really uneven hill with like rocks and stuff all real close together. And it ended up being fine. I think we could have totally slept in the shelter and we would have been safe. We just were being cautious because we didn't know what was going on. But yeah, I guess it was just good to trust our gut. But we made it out of He's gone now. He left before us this morning and... Um, we shouldn't be near him after, like, tonight because, um, tomorrow we're, like, getting our shuttle back to Franklin to hike that section we skipped, so we'll be safe from now on. It's just a little scary. I wanted to just, like, edit my videos and play my phone and watch and download Netflix instead I was running on the dark with my contacts already out, carrying all my stuff, trying to find a place to set up my tent while thinking this person was going to, like, hurt us, but it ended up being fine, so... Let you know later. Alright, I've gone like two and a half miles. I'm just doing like some steady climbing, nothing crazy. How about two and a half? A little more than that to the next shelter. I'm gonna stop and get water and probably have lunch. Cause it'll probably be after, it's gonna be after 11 by the time I get there. And I took my hat off cause it was like too hot on the climb. But my backpack feels really light. I think it's cause I, I'm running out of food and I'm wearing my pants and my jacket. So I'm just carrying like my shorts instead of carrying pants and a jacket, so that helps keep it lighter. I'm feeling good. The weather's nice. It's not super sunny. But there's no wind and it's not super cold, so it feels good. I'm about a mile and a half from the shelter. Today's been a pretty easy day, but a lot of downhill lately, which is kind of hard on my like knees and ankles. I think sometimes I just try to go too fast and then I <laughs> trip myself up so I gotta go slow. Right now it's a little uphill, but yeah, it's a good day. Tomorrow we're getting out of here, go stay in the hotel and get some food. <laughs> Alright, 
I'm like super close to the shelter, like less than a half mile, but I'm probably not going to film anymore tonight. My stomach has hurt like really bad for the past like couple of hours. And I thought it was like my hip belt was too tight and it was pressing on my stomach and I loosened that and that helped for a little bit, but I'm just going to go lay down in my tent, <laughs> maybe eat some dinner later. And I have like some medicine I could take, so I'll probably do that. But yeah, it's been a good day. The weather's been great. I haven't been too hot or too cold or anything. And the rain tomorrow isn't supposed to start until hopefully after we're already off the trail. Fingers crossed, but at least we'll be able to get it packed up before the rain starts, so that'll be good. Good morning, today is day 19. Um, we left shelter this morning and we have like nine and a half or 10 miles to Pigeon River Bridge where we're getting picked up by our shuttle driver at one o'clock. So we got out of the camp this morning. It was like 7.15 I think, which is the earliest I've ever gotten out of camp. So that was cool. But yeah, um, Staying at the Comfort Inn tonight again in Franklin, the same one we were at the other time, just because there's like a grocery store you can easily walk to and we can shower and do laundry, resupply, and there's a couple of restaurants you can walk to. So it's just honestly, I think it's cheaper to split a hotel room there and then pay for our shuttle driver to wait for us to do all that and then take us to the trailhead. So that's what we're doing. And that way we can just resupply the inner sea and go straight through and not have to like stop and spend the night there. I'm like two miles from the bridge where I'm getting picked up and I still have like two hours of time left so I'm not really in a rush but all my friends are ahead of me so maybe they're going to call and try to see if the shuttle can come early or something. I don't know. But we'll probably just be sitting there and I have no food left. I ate my last snack like maybe half hour ago. So I have like zero food except for those nasty drink packets that I want to get rid of that are like Hawaiian punch flavored but they taste not like that and they taste really bad so. Oh, I also have like a packet of taco seasoning. I have like no food that's like actually real. Here we are leaving the Smokies at Davenport Gap.